Good evening, and welcome to the second annual Charleston Forum. And thanks to our chairperson, Brian Duffy, and all my fellow committee members who've worked so hard to put this on, and in anticipation of a great night, let's go ahead and give them a round of applause. Brian, great work. And Amanda, Lovejoy, terrific. And, and the city of Charleston is pleased to be one of the co-sponsors tonight. I, I noted in the lobby at least two of our city council members, uh, uh, Peter Shade and Carol Jackson. Thank you all for being with us tonight. Um, on Tuesday night, two nights ago, on the anniversary of Juneteenth, and as we all commemorate the third anniversary of the Emanuel Massacre, your city of Charleston council passed a resolution recognizing, denouncing, and apologizing for slavery and the city's role in it. Now, um, when I walked in this evening, I, I saw um, Bakari Sellers, who's going to be one of our star moderators in just a little bit. He said, no. Remember, Mayor, you're not the keynote speaker. You're just given the welcome. So I'm going to try to keep that in mind. And I don't normally uh, read things verbatim, but I, I wanted to share just a couple of points with you from that resolution because it was so much more than an apology. And it was the realization of the work that lies before all of us. Listen to some of the commitments that were made in the resolution along with the apology. A commitment to promote in all city undertakings tolerance and understanding and equal and fair opportunities for all citizens to prosper personally and economically and to encourage others to treat all persons with respect and to eliminate prejudice. A commitment to urge all businesses, institutions, organizations, and associations doing business or having activities in the city to strive for racial equality and equity. A pledge to continue to work with Charleston County School District to address the quality of education for children in Charleston and particularly those who attend schools within our city. A pledge to promote an understanding of the contributions of African Americans to the economic success, beauty, and culture of this city, an assurance that the city will seek to promote racial harmony and acceptance by way of initiatives, including this one tonight, such as the creation of an Office of Racial Reconciliation and measures, thank you, and measures designed to educate and accommodate the exchange of ideas among all peoples. So um, the resolution, again, was so much more than an apology. That's a first step. And the next step is for us all to work together. I did also want to share with you that the city has been assembling a new team of folks to help in this regard, uh, including our newest uh, employee. She starts Monday. Ruth Jordan, where are you, Ruth? She's right down here in front, I believe. And she will be our new Minority Business Enterprise Officer for the city of Charleston. And we look forward to Ruth's leadership. Um, I think most of you know uh, my special assistant, Mike Wack. He's here, and, um, and I want to give a special shout out to Mike. He's been working so hard in so many endeavors in our community. But, but one of which is that the city of Charleston took seriously the disparity report that uh, Patricia and the others came out of the Avery Institute just months ago. And Mike has assembled a committee of city managers to review, even though that document wasn't uh, you know, so much directed at the city, we're looking at all the recommendations from that report and thinking about all the processes and procedures that we at the city of Charleston uh, are engaged with to ensure if there's any improvements that we can make at the city that we will do that. And Mike Wack is leading that effort, so I thank him for that. Um, 
and I wanted to share on the education front, folks, um, we, we got a long way to go with the schools in, in downtown Charleston and in our, and in our district and our county, our region really. Disparities are just, they're terrible. And, and um, they, they run along racial and economic lines and, and we've been talking about it for a long, long time and it's time for us to come together and do something about it. And, uh, you know, the, I, I'm, I'm the mayor. We don't run the schools. But um, Clemson University has, has conducted a, a special review of Charleston County Schools. Uh, we'll produce, in, in essence, a, a report similar to what the College of Charleston put out in general about our community. And I'm committed to work with our superintendent and board when those recommendations come out in just short order in the next 30 days prior to this next school year and really uh, engage the community to, for positive change uh, to improve our school district. It's, 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 it's the, the equalizer for economic opportunity for us long term. So um, Bakari, uh, sorry I've taken too long already. Um, I want to again welcome everyone to this important second annual Charleston Forum. Let's put our shoulders to the wheel and all work together to a common cause of respect for everyone. We're all God's children. Thank you very much. Here's <laughs> Reverend Eric Manning of Emmanuel AME Church to lead us in prayer. Reverend Manning. 